Hey folks, Sean with AZ Grid Free. Hey, I wanted to jump in here real quick and show you a project that I worked on a couple of years ago to address a problem that I was having when I first bought my property. And that problem is power. I had no power when I got up there. I would drive my truck up there, it was just raw land, and I needed to charge my cell phone or I needed to charge my laptop. I decided I wanted to have some kind of a power bank that would take care of all those problems for me. Now, yeah, I could go to Amazon or I could go to some of these big box stores and buy your buy your basic power bank, and that's all well and good. And I've done that. I've have some of those, but I wanted to build my own power bank so I could understand the concept of building a solar system. Because if you watch some of these YouTubers out there, you know they have these big, huge, elaborate systems, you know, with all these solar panels and beautiful power banks and charge controllers and yada yada yada. Well, if you can build the small one, they are the exact same as building the big ones. So if you can build a small little power bank to charge your phone, you can build a nice grid-wide cabin-sized power bank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video here, I'm gonna go grab my, my charge controller and my, my solar system and um, show you basically what I did to build it. I'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back. All right, um, what you see here is your basic ammo can. Um, I've got lots of these ammo cans lying around the house. A lot of them hold ammo, but um, this one was special. I picked this up at a military surplus store for probably around nine or 10 bucks. And what I wanted to do is turn this guy into my portable power bank. So let me go ahead and flip this around and let me show you what I got going on here. All right. Basically what I did is I had some 12 volt DC outlets. I drilled a hole in the side of this guy, installed it, and labeled it power. On the end here, I had another one, and I installed that and labeled it solar. And it's really important if you want to do a project like this that you label these because you want to make sure which outlet is what. You do not want to be plugging in a solar panel into your power connection. It's just going to cause you some problems and just don't do it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera down and I'm gonna open up this guy and show you what I got going on inside. All right. Okay. On the inside here, basically what I got are two six volt sealed cell batteries. Over here, I've got a charge controller that regulates all the power coming in from the solar panel and make sure that the batteries are topped off at all times. I've got a positive terminal and then down below that I've got a negative terminal. So basically the way that this is wired up is <clears throat> well there's two ways to wire this up. You can you can wire this up in series which is increases your voltage or you can wire this up in parallel which is increase, which increases your amp hours. I chose to wire this up in parallel because I wanted as many amp hours as I could get out of this. Each of these batteries will give me 10 amp hours. Wiring them up in parallel gives me 20 amp hours of battery life out of this system. Now to wire up in parallel, you basically take both positive connections, you wire them together, and then you wire them to your positive terminal. Now I've added a fuse to mine just for safety. Here it's a little 10 amp fuse. So if any problems happen, it'll blow that fuse versus my system. The negatives, as, yeah, as you'll just connect, connect those up to the negative and those will go down to the negative terminal. Now on the charge controller, it's really idiot proof. There, it's at the bottom and I can't see it here. It's labeled cut and dry, ba battery positive, battery negative, solar panel, power out. So you can really wire these things up real simply. So the other wires that we got going here are the wires from the power out of the charge controller to the power outlet here on this side. Um, the other wires are for the solar panel on this side going into the solar. So it's basically that simple. It, I mean it is, it is super simple to get this done. <clears throat> Once this thing is all plugged up and going, um, all you got to do is close up the lid Close up the lid here. I have a little extension cord that goes from a two-pole connection on one side 
to a 12 volt cigarette lighter on the other. And you basically plug this guy in and your batteries will immediately start to trickle charge and they'll stay charged all day. Now, once they're fully charged, um, they'll go into a mode that's called float and basically the power that you're pulling off your solar panel goes directly to the device that you're charging. So if you have your phone plugged into that, you're, you're running right off solar. Um, and the batteries will be used you know, for when the sun goes down. So it's a really nice system to have. And the benefit of having this little pigtail here, this, this two pole to um, cigarette lighter connection is I can unplug this, I can plug it over here into my power and then plug other, like a, uh, a 12 volt DC um, cigarette lighter extension on this and I can plug different devices into this, like a, like a small fan or um, some LED light light bulbs, everything, it, it really works well. It, it, it's a good system to have. It's taught me a lot on building solar. Um, if you wanna do something like this, I highly encourage you to give it a shot. Yeah, you learn tons off, off doing something small like this on building a large solar system. Again, I was looking out on YouTube and there's just not a lot of uh, uh, info on building a small little tiny setup like this. So I wanted to um, just kind of show you what I did. If you have any questions, go ahead and chime in on the comments. Um, I'll answer anything that I can and um, hope you guys give it a shot. Um, it's really not that hard and it's not expensive either. It's pretty cheap, pretty cheap to get something like this done. All right guys, um, if you have any questions, again, chime in on the comments and I'll answer what I can. Take care.